Hello everyone, this is Mr. Lewick, and today I'm going to show you a couple features that are available on typing.com that you might not be aware of. All right, so first I'm going to go in Lessons, click here, and it's underlined yellow, so that's where I know I am. And to begin, I look for the Resume button. Now, if you've been doing a bunch, these are green. All right, so let me click Resume. That's me. It'll start pretty much right away. All right, I'm going to wait a moment. Now, if you do not want to hear that voice telling you what to do or talking to you, you can turn it off. Up here in the top right-hand corner, this speech bubble, if I click it, it turns off dictation. That's when somebody reads to you. So now that's off. So I won't hear that voice at all. But there's some other options that are available to you as well. All right. If I click keyboard settings, I can click to uh, not show the, key the keyboard. Right now it's on. Or if I don't want the hands to show, I can turn that off. Or if I don't want the hands to move, I can turn that off. So you just click on it, decide what you want. Um, I'm going to keep them all on and click OK. And you can also change some sound settings. So here's the sound settings. If you don't want to hear the sounds of keys typing, you would turn it off here. Or the sound of when you make an error, you turn it off. It's up to you. I'm going to leave it on for now. And something else, this redo button, if you are like typing, you're like, ah, oh, I have so many mistakes, just click that. It'll re redo that specific lesson or test that you are on. All right, so let's pretend I'm done with this. I just keep going to the next level. Sometimes you got to scroll down to click a continue sign here or watch a video. But I want to go back to the main menu, top left hand corner, back button, and I should be back to the main menu okay a few other things this shows you how many experience points you have till you level up this shows you some information on how you're doing as well average speed my accuracy how much i've been typing not a whole bunch but i'm just starting off and some other things you can change the theme right now i have an airplane theme you can see airplanes and this is the avatar i chose if you click on themes you can select from any of these. I'm just going to change to something else. Let's try superhero ones, and I'll be this guy right here. All right, I'm just go back to lessons. Let's see what that looks like. And yes, my avatar changed, and you can see the theme back here. So that theme will show no matter what I am doing. Up here in this menu bar, there's also achievements. That's where all your achievements are stored, your stars. Um, any badges that you have earned shows you everything right here. Again, I'm just starting, so I don't have a whole much, whole bunch, but you can click here to see different types that you've earned. All right, let's go back to the lessons. All right, something else. When you get to the end of the beginner lessons, which is what we're in right now, these will all be green you can start the intermediate. You want to go in the order. Um, and anytime you want, you can take a test to see if you're doing better. You just click on tests. And remember, it keeps track of everything that you've been doing. Scroll down. So I've taken three tests, and here's what I've done each time. And then to go back to the main menu, well, I don't have to. I can go right here. So something else that we will do once in a while, we are going to do games. And when you click on games, it loads up your choices that you can do. You know, try some out, see how it goes. The better you type, the easier these games get. So you want you don't want to stick just doing games all the time if you're trying to improve your typing. Uh, but let's see what one looks like. Keyboard Ninja. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it does keep track of your scores on here, which is pretty cool. So it's loading up. And I have to... Oh. Awesome music. A little creepy, but kind of cool. I'm going to mute that. Maybe. There we go. So I muted over here. Play a game. Click on play a game. Uh, pick what keys you want to type. Home row or just the top row, bottom row. Um, I'm going to do all letters. Dun, dun, dun. And we better go easy for Mr. Lewick. And then as I see them float across the screen, I'm going to press that key and it chops it. It'll get harder and faster. There's the C. And if you've been practicing, this becomes easier because you don't have to look at the keyboard. Ooh, it's a bomb. I don't want to 
type that one. You don't have to look at the keyboard. You want to be able to look at your screen while you're typing. All right, so there we go. I'm just going to make some mistakes and try to get out of it. All right, so I'm done with that. I'm going to go back here to the main home screen. There we are, and I am back. Okay, so when you're using it, try clicking around. Um, and today you can use some of the games as well. Uh, but we're going to do some lessons first. I'll let you know when it's time to go to the games. All right, that's it. When you go back, remember to log in with your Google account. Click that blue button, and it should put you in. And please try to stay in home row when we practice. Again, as your teacher, I hope you'll make the choice to do it all the time. But it's got to be something you want to do to get better at typing. All right, that's it. Good luck. Have some fun.